Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through system engineering. So basically, system engineering is nothing but this whole describes how you manage or integrate devices, guys. Like we are having multiple hardware and software components, right? So how you will be integrating them, how you will be connecting them. So those things we'll be learning in this system engineering. Okay, so it is an interdisciplinary field of engineering and engineering management that focuses on how design integrates and management of complex systems over the life cycle. So basically it includes the hardware, software and the databases. Okay. So if you take a small example, computer based systems. So how many of you know what are computer based system guys? So it is nothing but a set of elements which are connected through cables or anything you can say. Okay. A set of arrangement of elements that are organized to accomplish some predefined goal by processing information is nothing but a computer based system. So examples will be educational system or political systems. So basically we'll be having one system and all the components will be connected. And if you have database, if you are connecting with database, you'll be getting the hardware like that. They will be having some relation. So this is just an example guys. These are nothing but elements we'll be calling. Okay. Okay. So what are the things that comes under this software? based system are nothing but they include software like in system software software so it is a collection of program data structure and document similarly hardware hardware components and devices communicate with each other like sensors people these are used to operate the software similarly database these are organized to collect the data having inter interface with the software whatever the data is interacted with the software it will be collected documents it indicates the supported documents and procedure procedures are nothing but some block of codes yes so these all could be connected. There will be having some relations guys. Guys have just drawn some random lines. But originally there should be some relation to connect them. Okay. Okay. So if you ask me to draw something which is neat and clear. So let us take a small factories guys. Okay. So factory automation system. This is an example for that. So just like flow. Okay. So here we are having manufacturing system. And this is inventory system and information system. So inventory system, I hope everyone knows what is inventory. So you'll be storing your files or the automated devices here. And here you will be storing the information about those things. So now in automation, we will be going through manufacturing. So in manufacturing, we are having material management system and manufacturing cell. So material management system is nothing but like storage. All the materials will be stored there and they are managed there. And manufacturing cell is nothing but here the whole magic will occur. So here we will be having a controlling machines, robots and data entry devices. So they will be doing some operations. So in this way, we will be connecting them guys. So macro element is a computer based system that is one of the part of a large system. So you can call this as a macro element and this whole is called as a system a system guys. So for a particular engineering process, you are doing it. So it is called a system engineering simple. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about the system engineering, right? So in the next lecture, we will be going to system engineering hierarchy. So what is inside what? So that's a simple and interesting thing guys. So let us discuss in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.